So this summer, I'm hoping to do three epic open water swims across three bodies of water to raise $300,000 for three Canadian charities. So in this case, for us here, um, you have one coming up this weekend. Can you talk about that one a little bit? That's right. Uh, this weekend, I hope to swim across Lake Ontario um, to raise $100,000 for uh, the World Wildlife Fund Canada. And is this going to be the first swim in the trifecta you're doing this summer, or is it the second, third? This is the second. Uh the first one was uh, swimming uh, 20 kilometers across Lake Erie uh, during the Canada Day long weekend. Talk about, so why? <laughs> I, I know it's a great initiative, of course, for fundraising for three charities, but, but why do this? A um, couple reasons. Uh, personal reason is um, I really wanted to raise money for these charities. I think the work they do is very important. And on another level, I, I really love open water swimming. I like the idea of having a challenge. And I wanted to sort of pick three swims that uh, each had a different difficulty factor and, and were exciting. So, you know, we, you talk about how these are three important charities for you. Um, you know, for the one that's coming up this weekend, World Wildlife Fund, you talked about how all the charities are great. Um, but what, what kind of went into your decision process in uh, picking these specific ones, specifically for the one that you're raising funds for for this weekend? For the World Wildlife Fund, um, I really admire the work they're doing. Um, I think they're, they, they're doing a lot of work that has uh, a global impact. They're also doing a lot of work that has uh, impact here in Ontario. They're working uh, to do shoreline cleanup on Ontario and Toronto beaches. Um, and they're also working to uh, ban uh, dumping in marine protected areas. Um, so they're, they're doing work that is really actually making a difference to, to people in Ontario right now. And, you know, when you think about uh, doing this, a lot of people take the summer to do runs, marathons. Yours just happens to be a swim, which is great. So my second question, uh, as opposed to the why you're doing this, it's how do you prepare for this long distance? So uh, the only way to prepare for like a longer swim like this is to spend a lot of time in the water preparing um, the weekends. Um, sort of five hours, eight hours, uh, 10 hour training sessions. Uh, during the week, it's usually, you know, a couple hours each day plus uh, time in the gym. With that, as people are watching this, uh, where the, and they want to support, can you uh, tell me where they can do that? And where are you at uh, with your goal? Are you ex have you met your goal? Are you going to exceed your goal? Um, your overall total, as it were? We haven't met the goal yet. Um, but there, uh, you can definitely donate at www.swimforchange or www.rcmcg.ca. Um, the goal I set was $100,000. Um, we're not quite there yet, but as we've been getting closer, um, I've been really excited that people are getting interested and, and they are, there, there definitely is interest in donating and I hope there'll be more. Now, I guess just to round out our conversation uh, here today, I, you know, as we are uh, kind of getting out of COVID, um, talk about the importance of, you know, just getting out there. I mean, this must have also started off as a way to get you doing something <laughs> in this pandemic, right? Definitely. Um, I'd, I'd wanted to do uh, these swims sort of the year of uh, uh, the year that the pandemic hit. Um, so that canceled them, but I thought, you know, it's something to keep me busy. It's something to keep outside. It's something to keep active, um, which I think is important. I think now that, uh, things have eased up and people can get out, if there's anything that people have wanted to do, um, like this to, to be outside and, uh, to be more active, I think they should, because, uh, the, the fact things have, have, uh, been, been improving is definitely something we should all take advantage of.